Greetings and salutations, the Vikings. Your Kormaker here. Well, we're going to continue where we left off, talking to the Lady of the Castle, who apparently is in and heads about liking us. At least uh, she became very touchy-touchy and brought us some wine. So I'm a little bit afraid of what might come next. She asks if you, if you want to share something about what happened in Scarlet, and I'll say let's tell her the whole story. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I want to collect the debt. A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunesh still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. I think we have a little bug then found out, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. There's a huge horde of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. They killed my modern father. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle 
burned down the village of Probislavets and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Ooh. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Poor Henry's getting waking up all the time. Let's put our shoes on. Because it's pissing outside. Take a torch from this from the table and from over here. Take a torch. Okay. Uh guess this is the exit. Let me light the torch. Oh wow. Whip it. It is raining harshly. Battlements, but where Hmm. Where do I go upstairs? Is it here? That's over here. True enough. Hello, guards. Good day to you. 
What's going on? You know what's happening. Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Scullitz, and now he's come to take Talmberg. Farewell. Okay, they're they're dropping on paranoia and whatnot. Fair enough. There's too few of us. And anyway. Is it over here? Daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Greetings, Sir Devish. Robert? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway... We'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Good luck to you. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out!
Wow, we're going to pause here for a quick second and, and have a quick pass through of what happens in far. So the Lady of the Castle here has uh, Sir Divish, if I recall correctly, who is apparently infantile. He's, he cannot produce an heir. Uh, she like, seeks entertainment that she doesn't get because she's now here stuck in this castle in the land side and not getting the entertainment from the city. And apparently it's making a move on our poor Henry. Uh, then we have the lords down there on the horse, who is the Lord of Scarlets, that I can just not think of his name. Man, I'm so bad with names. I will make my notes be better in comparing the names on my ends over here. Um, it's quite harsh on Henry and somewhat interested. That's odd. And besides that, it is pouring, and we still have to, an injury to recover. But Henry is very stubborn, it seems, and uh, yeah, I, um, I think we're gonna have to head back to Scalitz before anything. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? No answer for them. No understood. <laughs> Henry, I need to have a word with you. Yes, Sir Robert. Can it be what a help? you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Take care. Fair enough. Um, keep watch on the battlements. But I didn't see anything. So, does he want me to go somewhere specific? There's Scarlet's. We're now in Talmberg. Oh, that I'm not on the map and it's not showing me anything. It's really lovely. See some fire back there. And some road. Some guards down there patrolling. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay. Wait till morning. Okay, so that's how we are, I guess, activating the the waiting time, so to see. I wonder if there's actually something happening over the whole night. If somebody actually took their time to wait here, I'm gonna wait till morn. See, if three hours, standing in the rain. Let's go, let's go, move it, 
scallons. By the gods. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Lysaeus? <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Ja, tschüss. Geh und sag's dem Schiffe. Is that a return order? Yeah, you move it on. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. I wonder if he did recognize us. Very loved ones at Scalitz, talk to Sir Robot, get a horse. Okay. Uh, we don't need the torch anymore. Sir Robert. Good day to you. Mm. 
What do you know about the Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Makes sense, makes sense. Do you know why he raided Scullets? Probably for the money. I why guess. did Sigismund burn down Scullets and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Ah, uh, makes sense. Funding the opposition, so to say. I have to get to Scullets. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scullets. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh, if you were in my shoes, you would do the same. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Good luck to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sir ah. Divish. Pencil Trader. Hello, little chickens. Some cabbage over here. How about looking at the nourishment 87? Let's eat from the pot. I pray you're wrong. Where did you hear such a thing? I hear our scouts found a fresh pile. Hello. God be with you. Trade. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Good luck to you. I mean, of 19 Russians, what are you selling? You're selling a treasure map. 114. Wow. Those my clothes are looking poor by the minute. I'm not gonna lie. Hey there, guard. Good health to you. Good health to you too. Um, I need to get out of there. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Oh boy. You know who I am. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. <laughs> uh. I have to bury my parents. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Hmm. What do you have got in mind? What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Okay. Farewell. Get armor. We we'll probably need some sort of lockpick. Do you sell lockpicks? Can we trade? If you've got the call. Let's now. see. He's selling lockpicks. 
So, TIF 2. And I'm selling you some... Uh... Hmm, I'm going to sell you... I'll give you a pool quality error that was stuck in my leg. That's for sure. I'll give you some nettle. Like 14. Could give you the mead. Could give you... I don't know. Nine. Six dandelion. Boy, still not going to have enough money. All the valerian. 29. Give you the torch. All the sage. The ro roasted duck. 22.2. And half of my nettles. Check the basket and let's try what we can haggle. Can we do something about the price? Why not? So. Let's see if you, if you would agree to uh, 16.5. Agree? Calm now. Just a little more. A little more and we have a deal. How about in uh, 70.5? Satisfied? I'd almost shake on Almost shake on it. 18.5. That's a sum I can live with. Okay. So, I got myself a lock pick. Good, good villager. To you. Good off to you too. Take care now. So, I need to grab me some armor. Or I could just jump down here and leg it. One of the two's are options. So let's have a look. Someone on the rampart. Someone over here. I'm in a private place. Close it. Very easy lock picking. Two's the letter. We go down. Let's see what do we got here. Rob. There's nothing here to rob. I need a full. Very hard to break. Oh boy. The only thing we can do very hard. So, I'm gonna take his shield. That's very easy. Reliable blade. Okay, so I remember that I have to. So we'll keep it in here. Unlocked. Hey, natural. Steal it all. Okay. You didn't see nothing. Okay, guard. Um, I'm gonna pass you. And I'm gonna go somewhere so I can dress up myself in full armor. Hopefully, without somebody seeing me. She's not from here. She don't live from here. Christ. 
preserve us. Some guards over there. Is there a place I could wash myself a little bit? There we go, wash myself. So he's the only one who can see me from over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we have the armor to dress up and I'll run out of that place here. But uh, it's time for another story. Thank you kind of for watching. Let's see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can't wait to talk about more with you in the comments down below.